complicated to develop a course that's going to be delivered, in our case, by three tutors. So there's three strands to it. It was an Atabe programme. And so to develop a course that would work across three strands and be integrated and work well for both the tutors and the learners took a lot of planning. So in choosing the tutor team, that was important to come up with a team of tutors that had a range of skills and expertise and different strengths and weaknesses so that we could play to each tutor's strengths as the course developed. And working together with other tutors just opens up a whole load more ideas. So we're really able to um, feed on one another in terms of our creativity and how we present things, getting ideas for um, perhaps resources, getting ideas for worksheets, getting ideas for the way we can approach activities. So ours was a personal development program. And within that, we embedded a reading strand, a writing strand, and a personal development, or me as a learner, strand. And so we had to make sure that all the tutors were really familiar with the content of the programme we were delivering, not just their own strand, but everyone's strand, so that then they could look ahead to see, well, if you're going to do that, then maybe I could start it off by doing this. And that was the magic of the whole thing, really. Now, we decided to, to deliver three QQI Level 2 modules in this course. So again, that was a framework for us to work with. And that might be a shortcut into it for other people starting with a blank slate, is choose the modules that you want to deliver and look at the learning outcomes and how they can work together, design classroom activities that will deliver learning outcomes for multiple modules at the same time. Think of assessment methods that will deliver multiple learning outcomes. Like we videoed some of our learners talking through their personal profile. They did a module on setting learning goals, so they had to develop a personal profile, their strengths and weaknesses and their goals. And they videoed this, and so we used that in one module, and then they wrote some of that up, and we used it in another module. And you can submit the same evidence, of course, for multiple modules. We could have submitted the memory stick of the video for several modules. So an important element to, for tutors to build into their program would be to have a group agreement. Um, so a group agreement between tutors where, say for example, we agree that at the end of every session we will complete our tutor journal and upload it to our shared system, which was OneDrive in our case. Um, that means that it's there for the next tutor to be able to inform their lesson plan and build on anything that needed to be built upon. The feedback from the learners was excellent and some of them have progressed on to further study, some have progressed on to further work, some have gone into work, one has set up his own business, two went on to do the driver theory test immediately afterwards which I am fully convinced they wouldn't have had the confidence to do had it not been for this program. They all seem to grab hold of something in their lives and make a change.